Hi crafters! Okay, first a little update and then I want to show you something really new that I just finished designing. Um, yesterday I talked about these two boxes and what I did, because the seller asked me to make a cute animal face on the front, but well, you can't be good at any, everything, so I'm not good at making animal faces, doll faces, dolls, whatever. So what I did was I made a front uh, cover, so you can cover it up, and um, it has a Moroccan texture, look, feel, however do you want to however you want to call it sorry um, and I made a, a front piece and a back piece and the back piece you can also glue on here the reason why I did not make one for the sides is because the sides are glued together and then you will have a bump in your box so I made a front and a back piece and what I did was I made um, uh, how do I call that? Uh, a nice border die, not this one, but a nice one that uh, you uh, that curves with the box on the front side and that curves with the box on the top side. So you will have something that will look like this. And uh, the seller has already sent me, so um, the seller already sent me the production pictures. I checked them and they are good. So hopefully within a week they will be finished. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give you guys an update. And then I saw uh, on television, I believe on Discovery Channel, um, because sometimes I get questions, how do you get inspired by your designs? And I saw... Uh, um, a program about a guy and who had a vintage lunch box so I wanted to design a box that looks like the box he had and I made this one and it looks like this it falls a little bit inside of the box but it's really very sturdy especially when you make it out of two layers and it opens like this and this is how it looks on the inside because last time I forgot to, to show you the inside of the boxes um, I don't know if I have them on hand but I will take them uh, I will go and get them because I didn't show the inside of the other boxes but I will do in a second and I designed this one and um, I'm now asking the seller if he likes to produce it because I think it's a very fun box and what I did was I made three sentiments to go with that I made the word sweets and I made the word candy and I made the word treats and of course I'm always like to hear what you guys think about uh, the design so let me know if you like the box it was a, a hard job to design it to make it perfect but I think it looks amazing and it closed by this lid I think it's just a stunning box but <laughs> I made it so I'm uh, prejudged and uh, for the ones who wanted to see the inside of the boxes with the spouts um, they will look like this on the inside and the little one looks like this on the inside so uh, I for I've just forgot to show it in the previous video so I thought I would do it in this video I hope you like um, the new ideas I have and uh, let me know what you think about the new uh, old-fashioned or vintage lunchbox that I made have a nice day thank you all for your comments because I honestly love to read them all um, thank you for taking the time to leave me a comment that's what I wanted to say have a nice day to you all and bye bye and see you soon